A lot of the drills that I'm putting out for you guys have a graphic associated with it. It's essentially what we call a game theory white black tree or pay with payoff tables. It's essentially a game theory way of dictating what the payoff from the tactical situation is depending on the decisions. There never are fixed guaranteed payoffs, right? But it allows you eventually to choose certain types of actions to funnel people down one path in the white black tree. So the way the drill goes is the following, all right? You're going to come on guard, you're going to come on guard. We'll talk about the distances later on, all right? Let's bring this, to you. you need to pull a little bit, pull too much, all right, that's good. All right, so uh, I believe the way I have it written in the drill is the following, all right? In the drill, Akshay is given the black position, and Yost is given the white position. So the way the drill is written is that black begins with an advance, all right? Okay, don't do anything yet. Are you beginning or not beginning? What are you doing? You're just running away already. All right, so here's the deal. Black begins with an advance. White makes a decision, makes one of two decisions. Hold ground or retreat, all right? Choose. You get to choose. Okay, so from that point, black makes another decision. Do nothing or attack. Do nothing or attack probably with a lunge, all right? So hypothetically, this is the situation. If we start talking about distances and we start at advanced lunge distance, guard, all right? Let's say we're at advanced lunge distance right now. Advance is in lunge distance. So if the white fencer did nothing, the black fencer can lunge and will be in an advantageous position. Yes, lunge. So if it'd be bad, you would have to defend yourself with blade or you could make dramatic fencing spaces and fine. Right. Okay, recover retreat, please. All right. Similarly, let's say we made the same types of decisions. The advances, but this one has retreat simultaneously. All right. If he lunges now, he lunges far out of distance, so he's tactically disadvantaged from that situation. Recover. Back on that. All right. So let's try a different path. You advance. You retreat. You don't All right. Go ahead. Okay, has the situation changed any? No. This is a, this is a situation like really called detente, right? Nobody's really truly gained a significant advantage unless you're all the way at the end of the street. Of the street. You, you'd run out of room eventually, right? Any questions so far? Okay, back up. You advance, you do nothing this time. What should Yos do if Akshay falls in distance and just stands there and does nothing? If you're a foil fencer, what would it be? Preparation, it's a good time for counterattack or stop it, and saber. Why would you advance and then just stop and do nothing? I don't know why you do that. That'd be bad. That's the basic idea. Later on, we put blades into it, but here's the deal. We set this up as a framework for the new fencers because, one, we want to see if they actually have a brain and follow instructions and do a drill. Uh, I should have rumbling already. All right, two, this turns into bigger tactical situations later on. Okay, master weapon, please. Uh, that's close, but a little further away. All right. So here's where we put into blade work, and we'll make a demonstration later on. It's like the second night. I'm not going to be there, so you guys have to do the demonstration yourselves. All right. In the similar situation in that bay, this is how we're going to play the drill. You advance, you retreat. All right. Again, go. Typically, this is what you see in that bay. One fencer advances, one fencer retreats. Nothing happens, but in that bay, what happens? Just they usually both wind back up at the same position. They retreat back, and then you retreat back. And so you go back and forth. And it almost looks harmonic in a certain situation, right? So Yost does have decision-making capabilities here. What can he do? Yeah. All right, he can choose to not retreat. He can choose to counterattack. He can do whatever. That's, that's how it looks in that way, all right? In foil, it's going to look slightly different. So the point is, I might defensively choose to start retreating. Yes, go ahead. And I might set up area of post because now she's brought her blade within capture distance. Yes? Now, this might happen all the way down the end of the strip. On guard? Ready? Go. All right. Or reverse. Distance. Realistically, as a foil fencer, this is probably how the game is going to look in modern foil. Guard, right, ready? Go. 
Now she has no opportunity to track my blade, yes? Oh! Any questions? All right, Saber! Okay, I'd actually like you to start, instead of advanced lunch distance away, double advanced lunch distance. That's like triple advanced lunch distance, plus a little extra. Okay, that's good. On guard. All right? The pacing is going to be different. It's going to happen a little faster. The distances are a little broader. Ready? Are you ready? Good. Okay. Did everybody see the decision point? Where is the decision point? No. When Who made the decision? Who always gets the decision? Doctor. No. Defender. Defender. In this case, Michael made the decision to not retreat. He stepped in, and that's when everything kind of went crazy, right? That's the decision point. Any questions about this drill? Second night is effectively a review of the first night plus this drill. Now, if your recruits can do this without weapons and they understand what is going on, then you can graduate them to using weapons in the drill, but with no blade contact. Any questions? Questions to ask the recruits. All right? Ask them. Who's starting? Who's the person that advances first? All right? Invariably, the recruits will look at each other like, I thought I was advancing first. The other guy's going to be like, I thought I was advancing first. And it's going to be like, this is terrible. All right? Okay. Or you can also ask them, what decisions do you get to make? Right? Ask them, who is supposed to win in this situation? Those are things you constantly have to ask them to make sure they understand the drill. And that's it for the second night. Any questions? Okay.